If you get in and you don't sink, I'll go after you. Deal. All right. All right, here we go. All right. All right. <laughs> hey, Florida, where Oh, no. Oh, no, water's coming in. Hey, Florida, where are you? It's almost working. Uh-oh. Wow. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. 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 Hold on, hold on. <laughs> One, two, three, go. Another thing I learned is that a very light tinfoil boat can be very heavy when it's full of water. I don't know if fixing it is in the cards. I think we, I think we're gonna have to build another boat. So what do you think we should do? Let's add more structure. More structure? Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Husnia's idea of adding structure to the tinfoil boat was definitely right. We just needed to go further. So we did it again. This time, we made a much larger boat. We started with a sheet of cardboard, then wrapped the tinfoil around and added some metal supports taped to the cardboard across the boat this way to make ribs, as well as some other supporting pieces in the front and the back. Then another metal rod all the way around the top, and finally, supports across the middle. All right, feel how strong it is. I'm really excited about this version of the tinfoil boat. Are you ready, Husnia? Let's do this. One, two, three, lift. All right, I'm gonna get over. It floats, but that doesn't tell us anything because they've all floated at this point. It's only when I... I get into it. Okay, here we go. 